Francis, beloved ones, I come to speak to you today with so much love and pride in my heart for you and talk to you about the transition of the old to new earth in your life too. You have been so creative and positively determined to ascend to the new earth and because of that I and all in the spirit realm are behind you to give support in any way. You are so close you are protected fully. Remember, dear ones, light workers, healers, your heart hearing of other beings and the earth that you must find equal time for healing yourself so that the transition will be of ease. The merging bridge of energies and the 1111 portal have created intense and heavy energies requiring integration. The collapse of the old earth timeline and anchoring of new timelines may bring challenging situations on the physical, emotional, mental and spiritual levels. This is part of the process to anchor incoming 5D frequencies and release fear-based energies and limiting beliefs, which is wonderful. There is currently a deep collective solar plexus purge also occurring, which relates to self-love and self-esteem, self-confidence and self-discipline. These energies assist in overcoming your deep-seated fears, making conscious choices and being present, taking inspired action and staying true to yourselves. You are also purging generational and ancestral trauma, both individually and at a collective level. This trauma is stored in your DNA and cellular structure and as your DNA activates and expands it affects your energy level. The release of toxic residue from cellular memories supports the clearing process. So as you make your ascension into higher consciousness realms you will always know which decision to make and what needs to be released. This is a time of passage and transition between phases of your life. It may be difficult and uncomfortable at times, but you are seeking more truth, integrity and authenticity as you ascend. You are avoiding the materialism, shallowness and meaningless in your life. No longer holding on to things or people for the attachment and fear reasons. Because of this, everything will naturally and vibrationally align you to what is meant for you. This follows the natural universal law of certainty. So, beloved ones, you have been prepared for the fifth dimension, which is all within your being, including your emotions, heart and mind, and intellect. All are one on the planet, nature and the animal kingdom too. A massive portal, I should say portals, have opened through the recent, recent solar flares, sending you synchronized codes to move through and recover your inner power, joy and optimism from any of these people who answer the call of your soul and lead you 
strong intuition so you can move forward into this new earth energy. By doing this will lead you to heal the heartbreak and dissolve much of the past pain. It is a massive balancing and purging at the same time as it is for you all. You will feel it in your heart chakra as your female and male cells are balanced. So while this is happening, it is best to rest and slowly breathe into your heart. It's your past, as I know most of you have balanced your male-female energies already. However, this in this case, some of you still are not Remember to talk to your higher self who knows exactly what is going on within. All the information you need is within. Your DNA is being worked on thoroughly as well, so nothing will be missed. Your solar plexus being affected as well, but not in a negative way. You feel a powerful source coming from within your power centre, which is going to give you more courage and boost to carry you forward to the new earth. Each night when you go to bed before you sleep, just visualise, start visualising the new earth with you in a very healthy picture, health, no limits, being happy until the night becomes a reality. I have mentioned this visualization before. I keep doing it because practice makes perfect. I know this will be very soon, how exciting it will all be when we're all finally in the new earth, enjoying the energy and limitlessness you will have there. I am not going to talk about all the ascension symptoms I've mentioned enough. I think you hear enough of that daily told to you. Planetary change is a symbol of Mother Earth's own spiritual growth. I bring you this message with the subject matter of change because it will become very noticeable, not just in your life but the lives of your friends and the planet. Mother Earth is growing as you are and releasing the pain and suffering that she has experienced in the past. When Mother Earth releases negative energy in exchange for the positive love of the Creator, the old energy is blasted out from the Earth and into the universe. Many spirit guides in the universe are at hand to soften the effects of energy that Mother Earth lets go of, but sometimes the effects are out of control. The releasing of energy can affect the weather, creating floods, storms, tornadoes, hurricanes, tidal waves, earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. As light workers, we mustn't blame Mother Earth when these disasters strike as she is doing the best that she can as a protector, nurturer and home for the human race. Mankind has not been so loving to her in the past, but now she is releasing as many light workers are the pain in her past to create a pure, higher vibration future for her soul and the souls incarnated on the earth. Judgment and blame from mankind will hinder her growth. Each of us is connected and negative attitudes will only hinder the growth of all souls in the universe. So when you are aware of the larger picture as we are in the spirit world, and as you are when you are asleep and your soul returns to the spirit planes each night, you are able to see those certain changes, however large or small, are essential for life and progression on the earth. 
So my advice for you as an ascended master, who you all are, who have overcome many changes, is not to fear the changes of the transformation of your soul and being but to lovingly accept it. Change of all types allows you to understand the strength that exists within your soul. I warn you to be ready to release situations or objects in your life as it will help you to cleanse your being and travel forward, which is the goal of all to journey until you are reunited with the light and love of the Creator. Each level and initiation that you progress to will require you to release a part of your old self to welcome in the pure divine soul that is your true existence. In order to transform your being, you must accept change as a positive quality that should be embraced by all. Change will be evident in the future and it will be a part of your spiritual growth. My bright, dear lightworkers, continue to radiate your light across the land, smoothing any changes that the planet, Mother Earth and the people of the Earth experience in the future. I thank you for being here and listening to me tonight. I am Goddess Isis with Rosalie as my vehicle and I am always at your service and call Namaste dear ones till we speak again. <laughs>